mean, I'm very honoured to be performing for you and our very special guest, Mr. Benjamin Zephaniah. Round of applause for him. <laughs> but I'm also quite sad because my grandma's not here with us today. She died a couple of years ago. Um, but she really, really enjoyed poetry. In fact, one of her favourite jokes included a Jamaican poet and an Oxford professor. Now, I think the Jamaican poet might have been based on you, Mr. Zephaniah, <laughs> but I'm not so sure. They had reached the National Poetry Competition Finals, a big prestigious event. They had one minute to create a poem which contained the word Timbuktu. So, of course, very difficult. But after one minute, the Oxford professor walked up to the mic and he recited, Shleoi across the desert sands trekked a lonely caravan men on camels two by two destination Timbuktu and the audience applauded they cheered he thought he must have won it but then the Jamaican calmly walked up to the mic and he recited me at him a hunting went, met tree rubber in her tent. <laughs> then was tree, and we was two. So we bought one, <laughs> and Tim bought two. I'm not going to say her name because we're not Facebook too much. <laughs> I know some people here will probably search her name up, like all of her photos. Send her creepy messages, so she's gonna stay anonymous for now. But that girl knocked on my front door, and she was confronted with, well, my grandma. Is <laughs> Cassie's there? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, like, uh, Cassie's from my school, like, oh, spies? <laughs> Cassie is? <laughs> Like talk about spice. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, is that your hair day working or something? It's like Cassius in school. You see the name Cassius? Oh yeah, like office day goes to my school. <laughs> you see this front door? Oh yeah, it's like right in front of me, obviously. <laughs> Forget them! <laughs> <laughs> That's teenage romance delayed until I'm 51, I think. <laughs> the teacher told me that I should write a poem on a piece of paper so white. But first came a shiver, and then came a quiver. I am afraid of blank paper. I am afraid of blank paper. Yes, me. It might jeopardize my chance of a 5B. It's not that I'm lazy or a little bit crazy. I am afraid of blank paper. I am afraid of blank paper. It's not a lie. Blank paper is more than meets the eye. The test is so daunting and the paper so haunting. I am afraid of blank paper. I am afraid of blank paper. Don't jeer. I'm mortified enough by my foolish fear. Though paper's so bare, it gives me a scare. I am afraid of blank paper. I am afraid of blank paper. All right, I know that blank paper doesn't bite, but it is so intimidating and very humiliating. It's just, I am afraid of blank paper. Which character in all your books is your favorite? Would that include my poetry? Yes? Poetry as well. Yes. Um, the characters in my novels are made up characters and they come from real life, but you take a little bit of this person and a little bit of that person so that they don't recognize themselves and then you create another person. A lot of novelists do that. But in my books, for anybody that's read my children's poetry, um, there's a poem called a day in the life of Danny the cat. And Danny was a real cat. 
and I followed him one day just to see what he gets up to because I realized he was so busy, he was all over the place. And um, when I followed him, I followed him like into the hedge. He went into the hedge and guess what he did? Slept. <laughs> then he got up and then he went over the roof and he went on the top of the roof and got to the roof and he slept. <laughs> and he came down and he saw this other cat and he messed around with her, and had a bit of a date with her, and then he slept. <laughs> Cats sleep for something like 90% of their life. <laughs> and so, <laughs> he's probably my favourite character. Why did you want to become a poet and what inspired you? Um, I just loved words. I, it sounds crazy, but I love rhyme. And when I used to, I've always done sports. When I'm running and I hear words in my head, I just make up poetry, you know? I love my mother, my mother loves me, he comes over so from over the sea, we heard that he's very brave and cool, sometimes we talk, sometimes we call. I love my mother, and my mother loves me, try to live in harmony, she calls her father, me, to me she is my mommy. 